And if you haven't heard it yet, you're going to hear it today. We are by a mile the greenest zoo in America. In our history with solar power and Malink Solar and all of our partners that pull this off, PNC Bank and others, are really a model of what's possible. Fifteen years ago when we opened up our solar lot, there were some headwinds. People were like, I don't know, can we afford what? Well, we certainly proved that you can do it and you actually save money. And we've demonstrated that if you can pull it off in Cincinnati, you can pull it off anywhere. And we're going to double our output over here. So it's been really great. So in 2006, the zoo made a determined focus to get serious about sustainability. And from a solar perspective, it started. You can't see it, but the education center right on the other side of that wall was a 20 kilowatt system put in in 2006. At the time, is one of the top 10 largest arrays in the Midwest. 20 kilowatts. That just shows you how far the industry has come since then, right? And then in 2011, the big array, right? The largest urban array in the United States or America. And that has been an absolute grand slam, that project for us. Shade for our visitors, exceeded all of our financial expectations, all of our climate goals, et cetera. And then this project, um, which started, we started talking about this project five years ago. And it's another lesson of being ready for the opportunities when it comes to sustainable projects, whether it be massive stormwater reclamation projects, solar, creative food projects, et cetera. We have been relentless and we've been ready. We are shovel ready all the time for everything when it comes to sustainability. So when this project comes online, a little around two thirds of our power will come from our parking lots. And in 2030, 2032, I have some other shenanigans rolling around in the back of my head, we'll be 100%. So 100% of our electricity will come from our parking lots, which is insane, which is great for our climate goals to reduce our footprint on the earth. Um, and it's really good for our pocketbook. So in 2005, we used $1.6 million in utilities. Since then, our sewer rates have tripled. Our square foot of buildings have gone up 60%, right? Doubled our attendance, and yet our energy bills have been cut in half. And then by 2030, 2032, that will be, that 1.6 will be probably closer to three or $400,000. Like it's just insane. So the point here is your zoo is a 80 acre, 20 year case study of sustainability pace. It's not just the sustainability goals, so that's right. <clears throat> It's all the things. It's practical, it's smart. If you're relentless enough and if you're ready, that's the key. To have a cornerstone of our community that has always, that has been here for over a century, building out your own green infrastructure shows that it's something we can all do. Growing green and clean sources of energy uh, will only make our communities healthier and help our city run more efficiently and last longer. The Cincinnati Zoo has always been a standard for sustainability best practices and is continuing to push the bar of what we can accomplish as a city overall. This is, is a landmark project and so, you know, uh, in all seriousness, you know, I'd like to thank Mark and everyone at the Cincinnati Zoo for their continued uh, vision and their leadership uh, pushing this project forward and continuing to elevate the standard and showing people what it means to be the greenest zoo in America. Um, and you know, setting a, an example for this community, uh, local businesses, and all of the visitors who come to the zoo as well. This this solar canopy is it will produce enough power um, that will be about equivalent as nearly 400 homes of electricity, which is pretty impressive. And and I truly believe that everything that the zoo does is, you know, if you try to measure the the, the true impact, it's really immeasurable because of you know, the butterfly effect and, and of all of the visitors that come through here and, and the first thing that they see in the parking lot is, is their commitment to solar and sustainability. So you know, thank you to the zoo uh, and everyone involved with the organization for being, being first class and being a leader. <laughs>